Hello friends, welcome to the next video. Uh, without wasting our time, we will start to our today's content of the AutoCAD version 2022. So, we have covered this portion as you can see in the screen. We have made all the videos on the single command. Okay. And uh, today I am going to cover this much portion in a single video. Okay. So, uh, the first command you can see here is move command. So, for this, we need to have an object for movement. So, I am going to draw a rectangle or EC. Press the enter. Draw any rectangle of any shape. Then, here is the move command. Just click on the move command. And the system is asking me to select the object. Just click over here and select the object then press the enter next the system is asking specify the base point from here you have you have to uh, move the rectangle as per requirement of drawing or the as per application if you wanted to move from this corner and uh, whether if you wanted to move from this corner uh, just click on the specified corner if I would like to move this from this corner so I am going to click over here I have clicked here you can uh, observe rectangle is moving like this okay this is in free state just if you press F8 key on your keyboard so then you will be able to move only this rectangle in a perpendicular direction like this only perpendicular direction with a straight line like this okay and if you don't want so just uh, again click the F8 key on your function key of the keyboard ok like this now system is asking second point for the moment ok now I have take so I have took this point for the moment and I would like to move it over here just click over here it has been moved ok so this is the application of this move command next this is the copy click on the copy command and the next system is asking to select the object of, of which we need to copy so I have selected this object press the enter the system is asking me to specify the best point for the copy so here I would like to move, uh, take this point just take, click on this take this point and I would like to make the same copy of the same rectangle uh, adjacent to this with a perpendicular so click, just click F8 on your function key like this and copy here the object has been copied as you can see over here just you can copy multiple times also like this and like this ok and uh, for closing command just press the escape on your keyboard ok so this is the application of the second command copy these are the best uh, sorry um, these are the very basic and basic command of the autocad which should know to all the autocad learner and the next is stretch command take the stretch command select the object okay then press the enter take this point like this you can stretch the object like this also then again take this command select the object press the enter like this take this point like this and the next is rotate click the rotate if um, I need to rotate this rectangle with an any specified angle so select this rectangle press the enter this by the base point from uh, at which you would like to have a angle or inclination if I would like to be uh, to put 45 uh, angle for a rectangle just take this uh, corner like this 
and put the 45 degree here like this you can see the rectangle is the uh, uh, data is in the 45 degree angle which has been generated by the system okay uh, so we'll next uh, move to mirror command take this mirror command uh, for mirror command we need a reference line take the any line press the L take the end, uh, enter and draw any line uh, near this rectangle perpendicular line press the F8 like this ok and then the escape button ok now I would I wanted to uh, copy this rectangle same as mirror against this drawn reference line so first of all select this and for this we have a shortcut MI mirror press the enter and the SHTV is asking me mirror specify the first point so this is the first point and uh, this is the second point here you can see the SHTV is asking erase resource object means if you are going to copy this rectangle from this side or sorry uh, you are going to mirror this object now the system is asking the mirror object should be there or not ok uh, so I would uh, like to take the mirror object as like so press the Y and press the enter so, uh, so by pressing yes command the system has erased that uh, mirror command ok control press the control Z you can get back ok again select this object and then take this mirror command system is asking again two point this is the first point this is the second point the object has been uh, generated by the system so erase the source object so we need to put n over here no i don't want to erase the object which is been mirrored like this ok so this is the application mirror command and the next is the scale command ok so select the scale command scale means uh, you can uh, you very well know about this scale command if uh, I, I need to if so I have created an object which is uh, too small ok and I would like to for the best uh, fitable and uh, viewing purpose uh, it's need to in the large view ok I will show you directly how the this command is working uh, system is asking me now select the object for scaling I have selected this object press the enter for scaling purpose also we need to define the base point means from this base point this object will be scaled select this base point and the factor if I uh, if uh, I wanted to by 2 factor press 2 and enter means this uh, object is scaled 2 times ok and uh, then this is the application of scale command and next uh, this is the uh, ok actually uh, we will stop this video because uh, we have seen this much portion and the next uh, portion we will cover in the next video ok so what the command we will we have seen in this video the that are the move command second one copy command third one stretch command fourth one rotate and the fifth one mirror command and the uh, sixth one is the scale command ok this much command we have seen the basic command of the AutoCAD version 2022 thanks again for watching my videos and if you really like this kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon Thank you very much friends.